Hi guys, if you've been lucky enough to stumble across this plumberparts.co.uk video all about the Salamander Boost Pump that we've got right here, then great, we're going to get down to that any minute now. Before we do, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to our videos by clicking on the link that's appearing right now. Those links are available throughout the whole of the video as well, so you don't have to click on it straight away. Sit back and enjoy this video first. There's also a competition in this video to win one of these Salamander booster pumps. They're usually about 250 quid at the moment in stores, so you know it's a pretty big prize to be giving out. So please watch all the way through and find out how to enter this week's competition. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy watching this video and hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk, home of Find Your Plumber. So we're at a property here where they're experiencing low pressure problems at certain times of the day. And it can be a lot worse at night and a lot worse early in the morning, which is annoying for the customer here because they want to use the water then. But also just generally, they don't feel like they're getting enough pressure at the moment. The system that their hot water's coming through is a combi boiler. They've got a water softener on the system as well. So I'm pretty sure that the heat exchanger in the combi boiler is not furred up. So I'm happy to recommend to them to install one of the home boost pumps in here to try and improve their water pressure. A home boost pump will maintain a static head of about 1.6 bar uh, but if it starts to cool then it's going to give you about 1.5 bar around 12 litres a minute but the great thing about these they've got this kind of intelligent way of thinking whereby if you're just using a small amount of water they won't just come fully on they have a way of measuring the amount of water usage and actually adjusting the pump output to suit so they're really energy efficient as well the good thing about them as well is they're really easy to install and they'll go on 15 millimeter and 22 millimeter copper pipe so if you open up our hot and cold tap here this is are cold directly off the main and the hot is going through the heat exchanger as well we did a test on this we got about five liters a minute which is pretty slow and we've turned this one on now you'll see the flow out of this isn't very good it's uh you know it's pretty much struggling and we do the cold as well with that let's just turn that off we'll just pop the cold on and yeah if you look as well the cold is pretty slow we've also got the same problem with the bath tap up here as well i know that when i get home from servicing a load of boilers the first thing i'm going to do is jump in the bath unfortunately i can't show you the shower here today because it's being dismantled because we're going to put a load of mermaid board in there and a new quadrant shower in but there we go so you're getting a great idea about how bad the problem is here and how we're going to fix it so then guys let's have a quick unboxing of the new salamander boost pump in here so we've got our warranty card and instructions as well right we've actually got our pump here they don't muck about this is a real sturdy old beast here so nice protected ends on there this is an indicator here of uh, whether the salamander is actually running at the time we'll show you that in a minute got our BSP connections on here covered over like so so it's nice and protected in transit and it also looks like we've got about a meter of flex as well to our plug so take that into account when you're sighting where you're going to install this so moving on we've got a fitting pack in here we've got our reducers if you want to reduce this down from 22 mil to 15 mil pipe which is what we're going to be doing today because we're on a 15 mil pipe system We've also got our incoming main valve, uh, that's also got a little gauze in it to protect the home boost pump. There's a few things you need to think about when you're installing one of these. Make sure that you're going to put the home boost pump in a place where it's well supported. Make sure it's got 100ml around it at least for ventilation. Make sure that there's no cold water draw offs before the home boost pump. If there is, you can have to put non-return valves on them to stop any feedback or anything like that. On this system here, there is a pre-cold water draw off and that's just before the unsoftened water supply and that's already got a non-return valve in it. So let's quickly build the home boost pump up. Right, always read the instructions. You've got a list of do's and don'ts and also a pre-work checklist to go through. If if you just flip the salamander boost pump round you'll see there's a little arrow denoting which way the flow is going to go so that means that your valve is going to go the opposite end of that arrow so we're going to put our valve on at this end pop that round there don't have to go really crazy tight just yet and just make sure that's shut off as well so it's really easy to convert this down to 15 mil so we're going to pop our outlet rubber in here and then our outlet, let's dig it on here like so. Then all we need to do is remove the nut and olive from this end. Then you get your first internal here. And note that we've already put our rubber around here. Just so gonna pop that in there like so. That's nicely in. And then our olive can sit in here like that. That gets sandwiched and compressed here like so. So we can just pop this in. Just hold that there like that. And then if you just run your little finger through, I always find this helps is the best way. Run your little finger through like so, and that will keep the olive nice and straight. Don't go tight or anything like so. So now that's all nicely straightened in there, and that's ready for use on 15 millimeter pipe. So this is where we're going to be installing the home boost. So let's get in there with our little mini camera and give you a better look at what's going on here, because it is pretty tight. And you know, I've had a lot of pies lately, so it's difficult to get in. <laughs> here is our cold feed coming in. 
don't know if you can see that. We've got our feed up to the water softener and then back again. There's the bypass valve for the water softener. And then we've got the cold feed going off. That goes off to our cold taps to, and the boiler feed. And also this goes off to a cold tap upstairs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cut here, pop an elbow on this, set our salamander up across here, and then tee back up into this pipe here. So then we know that we're feeding pressurized water off to that side and also off to that side as well. Simple. Now, before we continue too far, it's a good idea to just quickly consult the instructions and have a look whether you're feeding the whole house or just a combi boiler. If you're feeding the whole house, you'll need to swap around where your shutoff valve is so it's on the outlet of the salamander pump. So because I'm feeding the whole house in this job today, that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. So the next thing we're about to do, which is actually installing the salamander pump on the pipe work behind us, usually takes about five minutes. Usually you've got a straight bit of pipe, you just cut a section out, pop your salamander pump in, tighten it all up, plug the power in and get it going. But because we need to make some pipe alterations here, it's probably best that you just watch us do this next bit in quick time. Number one, turn off the cold feed and then open up all the other taps in the house and make sure there's no water in the pipe work. So there we go, all done, we're all in. We just got that tied up. We've got a little clip in here, just a little clip down there as well. Uh, we're just gonna turn this water on now. Excellent, right, so there's no leaks there. So I'm just gonna run our plug through and under to our plug socket and get this up and running. Right then guys, so we're all in here. What I wanna do first is just test the water now coming through but what we want to try and do is be able to see what this screen is just showing on here because when this is going around slowly clockwise it means it knows there's a flow and it's being cooled when it starts going around quicker it knows that there's a really big demand and it's going to start trying to boost the pump pressure up but when it has opposite corners just flashing each side like so that means that it's satisfied with the pressure and everything's okay but it's still in use and then when it's just holding it's a kind of a dim light around the outside it means that it's on, but it's, there's no demand, and basically the home boost is on standby. Right, so I'm going to shut this now. Right, so we've got our new home boost installed underneath the sink. We've got it plugged in. We've got the water back on. There's no leaks. It's nicely clipped up, and it's pretty much ready to go. All we need to do to finish off the installation is give the sparky a quick ring and get this nicely earth bonded up, and also I might pop a few more clips in as well once we've finished filming. But without further ado, let's have a quick look and see how much it's improved the flow from the hot and cold just here. So now the pump's noticed that we're looking for some sort of flow and it's kicked in, so it's looking better already. Oh wow, look at that. That is miles better. That is brilliant. Wow, look at the hot, oh that's great. That is so much better. <laughs> that is going like the clappers. I'll tell you what, I didn't actually expect it to be this much this much improved actually. I love it when we fitted this tap, it doesn't quite drip into that basin. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the bath and see how that's getting on. Right, well, earlier on the bath was pretty lacklustre, didn't really get very far. So let's just whack this on. Blimey, you can already, you can already hear how much better it is. Whoa! That's already coming through hot as well. My... I'm absolutely amazed. <laughs> I'm absolutely amazed. To be honest, guys, you're gonna to need to ask Salamander Pumps how they've made this happen. <laughs> so there we go, the home boost is installed nice and easily. So if you guys have got any customers out there who've got a problem with their water pressure, definitely consult Salamander, give them a quick call. We'll leave a link to their website in the description below so you can get a hold of their technical. They're really helpful when it comes to deciding whether you actually need one of these or not. If you guys have got like, you know, mini isolation valves in the line, then stuff like that, that's the sort of thing you're gonna need to take out first if you've got a problem with low water pressure. If you've done all that and you've still got a problem, then this could well be your solution. So then you've seen how easy they are to install, how about winning one? I mean, like I said, they're 250 quid a pop, but they sort out pressure problems in your customer systems pretty easy if you ask me. So all you have to do is the usual thing, pop over to our Twitter or our Facebook page, find this tweet at the top of our Twitter page, or this post at the top of our Facebook page, 
and either retweet or share that post. That's all you need to do. As soon as you've done that, we'll go to Salamander about a week later and they'll pick a winner and send you out a brand new pump to install. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope it's given you a better idea about how you can increase the pressure in your system. And you've seen what it's done there. It's completely revolutionized Matt and Shona's stuff, what's going on. They used to smell really badly. From now on, I hope they smell beautiful. All right, you better do anyway. Um, please follow us on Twitter and Facebook where we do our plumbing disaster videos every week. I'll leave a link to them appearing right now. Click on the link that's appearing now if you want to watch any plumbing disasters. And also remember, click on the link as well if you want to subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in our next video. And remember to hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk, home of Find Your Plumber. A doobie doo, get in the van, get in the van, get in the van. Oh yeah, you're in the van. Let's go to the pub. Let's go to the pub.